Hi everyone, welcome back to my final episode of Descent, uh, Path of Exile, and today we're playing the last class, which is, uh, Shadow. Shadow, uh, is a dex intelligence character, so he evades and has energy shield. You either go the path of getting some spell damage and some critical, uh, stuff, which he does a little bit of trap things as well, a little bit of life nodes around as well, or you could go for, uh, a, a uh, dual, Two-handed weapons, which uh, you can do like heavy crit chance. You can do claws, which will uh, or give you back some health. Uh, there's some movement speed stuff. Um, some interesting stuff here. Some interesting nodes, but um, <clears throat> I won't lie. It's not a class I particularly care for much. I don't really play this class. And the reason being is that evasion is still kind of awkward and weird. It's it's I don't really like it because it's just like, well, you have a chance to evade and then you're going to... Um, I don't even know what you're gonna do after that. Like it's just you're gonna evade it and then take the full damage to your energy shield. You know, armor is just just so much better. Or specializing in something else. But anyways, I don't the hell. It, I think he was talking, but I don't really know. Anyways, today we have a, a, a ability called Double Strike and, and another one called uh, Freezing Pulse, and we are actually going to be going for a critical uh, spellcaster build. And so, what this basically means is we're going to freeze the shit out of everything. And we're also going to do a bit of traps on the side. Because I figure that's fun. And that's what I like to do. And we can just hit him to finish him off. Um, so, uh, the way daggers work in this is they have a glo increased global critical chance. And so, what that means basically is that uh, just by having daggers... I have more of a chance to crit, which is actually quite nice. I actually like that. Um, let's actually just go get this guy real quick. Oh, ooh. Why is it always me getting hit by these things? Yeah, you know, we don't really have to care about this stuff. Let's get the plate vest at least, though. Even that's going to slow us down a little bit, because uh, the kind of armor you wear matters. Uh, it's just not a class I particularly care about. It's just like, it's, it, I don't know, you know. It's nice not being dead yet. I actually leveled up really fast there. This is superior, uh, shank. So let's put this one on. I know it is really nice not being dead yet, but, uh, whoa, okay. Let's not lag. So, uh, so the freezing pulse ability is actually really nice. It actually got nerfed at some point. Um, it, it does, like, less damage now. But it, crit, it, it crits like a motherfucker, so we're going to be going into spell damage. I'm not going to really concern myself with melee. Even though I'm going to be walking around with two daggers, because as I said, crit build, uh, you're going to want things like daggers, because that, my crit chance is, is probably ridiculous. Like, I, I have to look at um, this. It's crit chance is 10%. One in every 10 shots will freeze my enemies. That's uh, not a bad deal there, let me tell you that. I'm quite content with having a 10% crit chance, but I'm also not very content with uh, getting killed right off the bat. But we can just go hit this guy. Uh, we'll take the iron hat. So if I need to get close, I can. Um, I'm just hitting these guys kind of for... Uh, uh, apparently the dual strike ability only works with the weapon in my main hand, which is why the, the one in my left slot for weapons is actually the most important one, because that's the one I, that's actually doing damage whenever I do dual strike. Okay, these guys are really kind of not worth my time. I don't really want to be staying here that much. I mean, I already got a level up. This is like another DPS class, like 14 DPS and then 12 with the other one. It's not bad. And another glass shank. I like that. That's cool. Right, I'll just let the beetle kind of follow me around. And we'll just throw the other one on the ground, and this is another one. Let's go and just toss that on. Yeah, I know you snakes love me. Now, unfortunately, this is another kind of a squishy class. Um, I do have access to a lot of great life nodes early on. Um, but it's kind of one of those things, ooh, I got a yellow hat already. Um, it's one of those things like, do you really want to be investing your, uh, your time into that? Um, cause, like, cause I remember I don't have much of an option in terms of, well, I do have, like, really good boss killing abilities. Look at this. And then I'm just gonna do freeze them. I'm impressed by how much this place wants me dead. So am I. And we get this guy. Oh, iron ring and holy shit. This is a, so far a good run. 
I would definitely say that. Um, okay, so Rusted Spike gives me 20% uh, global chance. Uh, we're not really interested in that. This is automatically better than whatever I have. That's automatically better than whatever I have. Um, that's probably better, but, you know, who cares. Okay, we're gonna get the alluring one, and we got a superior Quicksilver, actually. That's, uh, surprising. Uh, that's a 14%! Damn! That's a lot of percent. Okay, we don't want anything else there. Okay, so, we, the, whatever the quality of the flasks do, they, uh, they basically, um, increase the, uh, um, amount, the length of time I'm running for. So, this is so far, uh, going pretty good. And I actually do a lot of damage, surprisingly enough. So, um, the stats on my weapons don't really matter that much. Like, having having high damage weapons, obviously, kind of nice. But, uh, it's not, it's not vital to this character's survival, because the way I'm building him, as I said, is crit. And, and you know, the, the weapon you're doing has very little to do with the amount of spell damage you do, uh, unless it has that explicit stat. Low on mana. And once again, I'm, I'm building my character the same I did before. Um, basically one single target uh, ability and one that doesn't really do single target, which is fine. So uh, the reason I don't really play this is I, I consider it to be a really fragile class, and especially when I don't want to die. Because, you know, in hardcore, as, as you know, I, when I die, it's, it's just done. It's, it's, it's over. Wow, there's a lot of life in that. Okay, even that, even though that's a energy shield boots, you know, I, I, I'm not against energy shield. That's a, that's actually insane how fast he does that attack. You know, maybe I'm starting to change my mind on the shadow, but they're apparently planning on reworking how, uh, and we get sweep, which is utterly useless for this character. Um, they're planning on reworking how, uh, uh, what's my call it works, how evasion works, which is going to be actually come really come in handy. Is it this? You know, I have to say though, uh, crit build's really nice with this guy. Uh, he's really he starts off with just the right uh, kind of tools for it. Which is why when I saw this guy, I said that's what I want to be doing. I can just all you have to do is find a nice line. You can imagine that will come in handy later on. But you're gonna love the traps though. Uh, I've never really played with the traps all that much, but uh, I think you guys will like that. That's gonna be really fun. Uh, it's it's basically like some high damage stuff, but you can't use it that often. Oh, wow. All right, let's get cast speed because um, the reason I'm going to go cast speed rather than the bottom one, uh, the one right under it, is actually elemental damage. Instead of doing straight up damage, I want to be doing cast speed because there's actually a higher chance if I, you know, the more often I fire, uh, the more higher of a chance I have of uh, actually doing a crit. That's my logic to it anyways. I don't really build many shadow characters. Um, I hear traps are really, um, really popular with racing uh, because uh, fire traps in particular can, uh, which is one of the ones you're gonna see me use, can do a really high amount of DPS and I'm kind of trapped back there. Let's just uh, get these ones. Oh, uh, whatever, let's just kill these guys. Okay. Well, now that, that guy's gone. You know, I have to say, that is that is really insane. Okay, we got a coral ring here. Some other shit, so let's uh, go check that out. And that's a uh, life and energy shield, that's fine. That's a nice uh, evasion thing, but I don't know if I really want to be using it. It does give me some life, though, so I think we are going to take that after, after all. That's my logic for that, anyways. Uh, let's get the fuck out. Oh, come on. I need to kind of just zoom around this. And so, uh, I'm gonna take the alluring chest here, because this is actually gonna give me access to my traps. And I'm already- I already have double strikes, so that's not a- that's not a- that's not a quality one, so there's really no point in me taking that along with me. Alright, so, uh, time to put on the traps. So, we have bear traps and fire traps. And fire traps do a large amount of e AoE in an area, and bear traps are more to single target, and they do physical damage. We also got chain belt early on, which is nice. Low on mine. So, what, here's what I can do. I can go and just toss a fire trap down. And there you go. And they're, they're just kind of taking burning damage here. And then I can... Uh, there you go. Uh, the, the bear traps will immobilize uh, the enemies as well. And that's why I'm kind of doing traps. It's because uh, now I have uh, 
two abilities which will kind of help me along the way, which is really nice. Increased recovery while in low life. That's not a useful trait. I don't want this guy following me around. Uh, we don't need the rustic sta uh, sash. Gonna call it sta 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 stash. Whatever again. Oh, that's Rose. And then we just kind of set them all on fire because that's uh, critting. I'm going to throw a bear trap on that guy. So, uh, I only get a finite amount of these. It's kind of the, the main problem. However, uh, another problem I do have is uh, I can't really... Uh, I have to kind of just cast it and run away. Which is... Because uh, the thing is, they, have to re they, have, they need time to regenerate, basically. So, I'm going to use this time to basically now just... Uh, that, that's already actually a lot of DPS, I have to say. I'm actually quite happy with that. I could kind of throw it into the middle of them. And I'm just going to keep throwing them. There's, there's so many of these guys. And that those bear traps also do a lot of damage. Alright, and we'll just uh, toss another fire trap in here. And another one for these guys. I did not pick up that orb of transmutation. I don't know why I did not. So the only weapons I'm really going to take are ones that that will allow me to do more DPS. Uh, so, whoa, okay. Um, hey, uh, let me just upgrade this. Elemental resistances once again. So here I'm going to just use the physical thing on this guy. He has an aura which gives everyone around him, uh, unfortunately, some more uh, energy shield. But look, fortunately, I can. Uh, I can cast my, my traps on death, him. I live a little bit more. <laughs> That's the greatest quote I've ever heard. Alright, and with that we're gonna get some cast speed. Cause I think that's really I think I think I'm making a good character build actually. I'm, I'm enjoying this one. Alright, let's uh I really don't like these Roas. Just kinda run around. Ooh, okay. Uh, that's, we're, we're not gonna do that mob. Fuck that mob. What is it? What level is this area? It's like level 5 or something, and I'm level 5, so fuck this. Let's just go into the next place. Fuck your spiders are, are just as good. Because they're gonna keep cursing me. Alright, here we're gonna get, uh, the Q... well... Uh, I don't know. Actually, I'm gonna get the alluring chest. Uh, if these guys allow me to. Maybe I should finish off this mob. These guys are annoying the hell out of me. I'm just try to get rid of these guys. Because this is this is a really bad situation with this many Roas. Uh, I'm just gonna hope they keep running into that right now. There we go. They're uh, running around in the in the fire there. Oh, I, that handled that. Alright. Uh, so we can get more physical damage, um, but that will lower my DPS if I take that off, I think. Yeah, it will. Uh, fine, we'll just keep it the way it is. Not happy with that, but, uh, you know, we'll, we'll leave it the way it is. It's fine by me. Alright, and here we have another, another nice group, and now we get to utilize we're just gonna bring ourselves into this corner here and just, uh, even though I'm not actually ice critting that much anymore, I've started to notice this. And let me just get those guys on fire. Oh my god, this guy has, like, so much, uh, shield. Oh, why wasn't I taking out his shield before? I don't even know. Uh, that was not the right guy I wanted to cast that on. There we go. That's all he does, is he just keeps casting that ability, but I can just keep doing bear traps on him. Which doesn't actually appear to be that effective. And it was more effective when I was just up in his face, like, attacking him. Because he just can't keep recasting these guys. I hate these necros, but... Oh, wow. We got glass... We got glass shank, guys. That's, uh, that's really good coming handy. Okay, so we got a unique, uh, or whatever, glass shank, and that's a lot of critical strike chance. 
I will take that. Thank you very much. Right now. Because that is going to really come in handy. So I don't really know why I don't like this class that much. Like, especially like a... It seems like a good early level one, but not a very good late uh, late one. But as I said, they're planning on changing this around a lot, this class, so... You know, I'm, I'm okay with that. And I'm, I'm actually hitting stuff when I really shouldn't be. I'm trying to do crit builds. Basically DPS with my mana stuff. And I can also do that. Actually, that bear trap does a fuck ton of damage. So I'm just throwing a bunch of... Yeah, you see that? that, that one of those things does uh, physical damage to him. Just throwing a bunch of shit at him. There we go. Coral ring. These blue ones I don't actually do a lot of damage to. So it's a little bit of cold, a little bit of uh, fire. And I like to freeze them. That's one of the best parts about this class. Except for the fact I keep seeing these guys. Low on mana. And I keep getting low on mana. Well, that's why I do it this way, which is like, uh, I have uh, two of each potion. Got a medium mana flask here, though. Uh, let's uh, swap that. Oh, actually I have two. Uh, oops, no. Let's take that one. Okay. Ah, did not mean to do that. Wrong ability. Unfortunately, the way I'm doing this right now is uh, I don't have a whole lot of uh, mana now because I uh, I kind of uh, decided to swap in both my flasks. But that's why I can just kind of like uh, I can just kind of throw these traps down, and they, they, I'll just use this for my mana while I just hit them normally. I'm like kind of like hitting them. It's weird. And there's a claw. That's actually the, the 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 thing I would use. It gives me like life gain per enemy hit. That's its default kind of like a stat. And that guy's dead too. All right. And this is a better chain belt, so we'll take that. Actually, we could make this into a a better chain belt. And there you go. Gives me some strength. Not too shabby. And I could get dex out of this uh, Emmy, but I'll keep that around just in case I need it for later. Uh, it's uh, no point in not taking that around. And yeah, we'll just freeze these guys. Okay, unfortunately, I'm now I'm now into a problem where uh, still don't have enough to get back my health. Still using those traps because they're very low on the mana cost. Oh, and I just got my shit back. Nice. Level six compared to the guy who's level ten. I'm not, I'm actually really close by him. That surprises even me. This could be my best run yet. You never know. Okay, here we go. So they're in a line. I'm just gonna do this. Now, the closer I am to them, the more damage I'll actually be doing to them. But I really don't have a choice in this case. Um, we're actually doing really well. So let's let's keep uh, running away. Okay. Oh, here's some guys. Uh, I want to throw a fire trap. There we go. I, I'm kind of mixing up the keys for that right now. Ha! <laughs> Froze a guide midair. Unfortunately, I think I'm going to be really weak, though. But you know what? I have my stuff is pretty close by, and then I have some life nodes, like, right in the middle. Um... Like, really nearby, like, right down here. And so I figure that's actually going to be the best for me, because I can get some early on life, and, uh... And just kind of say forget it after that. I'm, I'm, I was fortunate enough, though, to find uh, all this, uh... Uh, and you know what I can do? This is... Now you're about to realize why this is... Why I was building it this way, because now... You know all those areas in the frozen tunnels where I had issues? I can do this. Until the end of time. It's fire damage. It will not be resistant to it. So that's that's why I kind of built it this way. And then I was also going to do crits. Because then I can I can try and chance a bit on luck too. To go with it. I wonder if he knows that I laid the trap there. Let's just uh, throw some traps on that guy. And he's dead. 
And we also have some gloves here, which we can use. And Paula ring, nice. Can I actually, did I actually throw some traps on him? Yeah, he's gonna try and range me, but uh, that's okay, cause uh, I have I have stuff to range him too. Wow, 